Gingerbread and Jelly Bean, welcome back to another episode of J Vlogs. Thank you guys for tuning in into the channel. I hope you like the new intro. I know the next, the previous intro was really nice. I like it too, but I think it was kind of too long for like these type of vlogs. So I'm going to use both of them, and you know, so you guys can tell the difference when I'm talking about like a vlog vlog or just a regular discussion like this so you have discussion then you have vlogs so you have two different intro to them so you can identify them better but thanks again for subscribing to the channel remember to give the video a thumbs up hit the notification bell when you subscribe as well and those watchers of the videos remember to watch advertisement it pays now before i jump into the video i'm trying to spruce up the channel i'm trying to vibes up the channel i'm trying to do more but it come at a cost like youtube is really an investment i have to really stick to that saying youtube is an investment and just trying to make our edit on it it takes a little learning curve i'm used to premiere pro but i don't pay for premiere pro i have a bootleg version of premiere pro don't inform on me now <laughs> i installed this many years ago out of 2000 15 version so even to add like an overlay to put my name here can't be added to it and stuff like that so it's it's challenging but anyway enough of that let me jump into the topic no i saw a post where the hoteliers um the jh ta or something like that do these the tourism sector these guys want the economy to open they want the tourism sector to be open which is you know true it needs to be open because that's one of the way jamaica earn jamaica have many areas that they earn from tourism sector is one sports and culture is one also have bpo sector um export market and stuff like that all of that helps to fund the budget for the government so the government can pay nurses doctors pay police buy police car buy helicopters fix roads etc now they want to own the tourism sector but they have to plan properly and they have to come up with real solution that can help to open the tourism sector the issue with that is we're going through a pandemic and people are catching this virus and dying from all around the world this leaves jamaica in a predicament because jamaica is a tourist destination we get people from all over the world conversion to jamaica you know they're involved in the culture they want to enjoy the beach they want to enjoy the sand the sun the culture the food you know just the lifestyle they want to be a part of it and that's why we're loved like that so people do take vacation serious when it comes to Jamaica and they really plan and they really save and they, they know they go all out to come and enjoy the Jamaican culture. Now this pandemic is really pushing everybody over the edge, it literally killing people which is sad. It, it's just tearing apart you know life as we know it but we have to try and live with the virus so what the government um, is trying to do is trying to open it. No, this is my idea. This is what I think that the government can do to open up the tourism sector in Jamaica. This is just one solution of many that I know many people are thinking about and government agencies and countries around the world are thinking about. This is mine. So, I'm proposing that tourists that wants to come to Jamaica will have to spend 30 days or more again tourists that wants to come to jamaica would have to spend 30 days or more the reason why i said that hold before you guys cut off my neck and stab me up and do my all kind of something just listen to listen before you crucify me on here the incubation period for the virus is 14 to probably 21 days but let's say put that 14 days why i say 
30 days. 30 days will allow an individual to go in to quarantine and they'll have to sign a contract saying, hey, I'm going into quarantine. Because they're leaving from a country that you can't just readily buy a test kit in a store to get tested and then leave the country. It is the test kits are at you know a minimum right now. They're shortage, you know, hospitals trying to get them. So they're not ready to are readily available to the public. So government have to take this into their hands. So what the Jamaican government can do is basically quarantine individuals for 14 days. After the 14 days, if you're test positive or negative and you recover, then you're allowed to go into the economy. You're allowed to go into, you know, the the island and drive around, move around, go to beaches, go into the hotel, um, you know, mingle and mix and dance and party and whatever you do as a tourist in Jamaica. No, where would you be quarantined? You'll be quarantined in the hotel room that you come down in or the Airbnb or any one of the, the areas that you have your accommodation booked for. You'll be quarantined there and you'd have to sign an agreement to be say basically, hey, I'm staying here and I'll be monitored electronically to, to prove that I'm actually staying there for 14 days. What will happen next? You will have another... 16 days because tourists are allowed to stay up to 30 to 60 days on their visa or passport into the country so you have to spend 30 days or more 14 of which will be in quarantine normally on a regular basis before this you can come to jamaica for one day and go back two three four a week and go back Yes, I know people say, but Mark, you're crazy. We are try to do. We are try to say, man, I try to come down. I are talk, oh, spend 30 days, man, no, no money. Yo, yo, you violate the thing, yo, the way I deal with. <laughs> Listen, I'm not trying to violate the thing. I'm just putting across my idea and my point of view. People that want to travel right now, them have their moolah. They have their money. And they will spend their money how they feel like to spend their money. You hear me? They will spend that money. So no matter what you do, you cannot stop them from spending the money. So people that are going to travel are not people that are on a budget right now. People that are on a budget will wait and think things clear up. And they have the freedom to spend a week or two weeks. These people that want to come to the country now on vacation have the moolah. And they will come and they will spend 30 to 60 days. So it is for those people that have the resources, can pay for their accommodation, can pay for the the, um, the tests, can, you know, spend that amount of time in the country and not, you know, be affected by, you know, the costs associated with taking a vacation during a pandemic period. So... That is my idea. I know it's kind of wild. I know it's some people be like, this this fellow, this fellow does listen. More come to Jamaica, and you can't tell me nothing. But again, this is just an idea. You know, hypothetically speaking, just trying to think up solutions, as I always do, to fix certain issues. And and to me, like deep down in my heart, me feel like say is a good idea. And if you don't agree with me, give the video a thumbs up. If you don't agree with me, still give the video a thumbs up. But leave your comment in the comment section. Mm -hmm. Or tell me your solution. If you agree with me, you agree with me. If you don't agree with me, tell me your solution. We you don't want to see as a tourist coming into the country. Because we have to protect the people. We have to protect the staff. We have to protect, you know residents that are there you have to protect yourself because you don't want to be asymptomatic meaning that you don't show signs of the virus and then you come give other people the virus be on the plane give other people the virus on the plane so in the comment section below tell me how you feel about this idea of letting in tourists back into jamaica for vacation purposes 
So thanks for watching J Vlogs. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Remember to subscribe and share for more. Give the video a thumbs up. And please, please, please watch advertisement. It, it pays. It pays. And uh, I need the mula from this YouTuber. So give me the mula. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Later, peace.